Welcome to this course on transition metal organometallics in catalysis and biology. In this course, we have been uh, talking about olefin polymerization in the last few lecture. In particular, uh, to begin with, uh, we had uh, looked uh, into various classifications of polymers that exist and these uh, are primarily a, a based on uh, uh, the property polymer properties. Uh, in uh, or their material properties. For example, uh, if the polymer uh, uh, shows resistance to deformation and then uh, uh, after some time uh, you know with an increase in temperature they accept the deformation uh, that is one kind of behavior and usually uh, are called as uh, thermoplastic. Similarly, there would be polymer uh, which will uh, be very flexible to deformation. However, uh, uh, later on uh, when the deforming stress is, is removed it remembers and uh, goes back to its original conformation. So, those are elastic uh, in properties. So, based on various polymer properties we have uh, uh, gone through uh, several types of polymer classifications uh, that uh, one encounter in the uh, world of uh, polymer chemistry. So, in this context uh, to begin with in the last few lecture uh, we had uh, uh, discussed about the following uh, polymer uh, types. So, in this uh, we have uh, uh, looked into thermoplastic materials. We have uh, looked into Duraplus next was elastomers the fourth being elastoplastic materials. or called thermoplastic elastomers. And the fifth is called reversible duraplast. So, uh, we have uh, looked uh, into the classification of uh, uh, polymers uh, based along these uh, 5 classes and what we had seen that this classification has mainly been done uh, with regard uh, to the polymer properties particularly with respect to the, uh, applied stress and removal of stress. Also we have looked into the various composition or types of polymer uh, uh, required for producing uh, this kind of uh, uh, different uh, polymer types and they involves mainly uh, the polymer with cross linking or polymers with branching or polymers with meshing. So, there is a, uh, a deep uh, structure deeply root deep rooted structure function relationship of the polymer uh, structure with that of the polymer properties. Uh -huh. Now, with regard to olefin polymerization the good thing is uh, that uh, all variety of this kind of materials can be produced uh, by from polyolefins and that is why polyolefins have become so important. Now, with regard to uh, uh, polyolefins we in the previous class we then uh, subsequently focused on polyethylene. Uh, polyethylene classification and uh, mainly uh, this was done again mainly based on the density and the structure of polyethylenes and 
they uh, uh, can be divided uh, into three uh, broad class types. LDP which is linear low, de uh, low density polyethylene The next one is LLDP linear low density polyethylene And third one is HDP high density polyethylene. So, uh, 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 we have uh, seen that how uh, these uh, three varieties of polyethylene it can be cla classified based on the density, based on their structure uh, uh, and based also on their properties. Now, in today's uh, 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 lecture what we are going to do is we are going to spend some more time uh, on uh, polymer classification and this is uh, uh, particularly not from the material perspective, uh, but from uh, uh, the mechanism uh, uh, perspective. A, a, or the uh, chemistry perspective. So, uh, the two classifications that we had uh, uh, presented uh, earlier in the previous lecture are from the material properties that means that uh, these are classified uh, times uh, based on the properties or behavior that each of these materials exhibit. Whereas, uh, now we are going to uh, look at the broad uh, classification of polyolefin based on the mechanism or based on the process uh, which are used for synthesizing these polymers. So, uh, now this uh, 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 this portion would be a taught from a, a book uh, which is very uh, famous in polymer world and uh, request uh, 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 the audience uh, or the, uh, the re, uh, takers of this course, uh, the students uh, to please refer to this book. Uh, the title of the book is Principles. of polymerization by George Oden. O D I A N George Oden and uh, this is a sort of uh, a very good book uh, that talks about uh, polymer particularly from the mechanism uh, their classification and uh, the perspective and uh, uh, request uh, uh, the students to refer to this book for the, uh, this part uh, of the lecture. Third edition. Now, uh, uh, with regard uh, to polymer classification, the other uh, the common classification uh, uh, from the uh, chem uh, chemical perspective is uh, are uh, of two types uh, from the uh, these are called uh, either the first type is uh, the polymers divided into uh, condensation polymer.
and addition polymer. Now, this uh, division is primarily based on uh, uh, the process which uh, the, uh, by which the polymers are synthesized. If the polymers are synthesized by a condensation reaction, then these are called condensation uh, polymers. And if the uh, polymers are synthesized by addition reaction, addition of monomer reaction, uh, then this is uh, called addition polymer, uh, 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 polymers. So, let me just repeat the condensation reaction uh, for producing condensation uh, uh, polymers uh, occur between uh, the condensation reaction bet uh, between two uh, or between the monomers, individual monomers. Uh, whereas, uh, addition uh, polymers are synthesized by addition reactions which also occur by addition of uh, monomers. Now, the difference between condensation reaction and addition reaction uh, uh, is uh, due to the fact that a condensation reaction will have a small molecule uh, byproduct uh, like elimination of water or any other uh, uh, small molecule byproduct in the uh, uh, during the course of uh, condensation uh, between the monomers. Whereas, uh, for addition uh, polymerization, uh, there is no uh, byproducts which are uh, evolved as a part of the polymerization process. So, these division of condensation polymers and addition polymers uh, are primarily based on the process uh, which are used uh, for uh, producing the polymers. Uh, now, uh, there are uh, another uh, way of classifying the uh, uh, polymers uh, uh, that is uh, what is uh, that is based on the mechanism by which these polymers are formed. So, the top one is the process by which the polymers form and the second one is based on the mechanism. So, uh, under this uh, category the polymers can be uh, divided into uh, step growth polymer and chain growth polymer. So, uh, these, uh, uh, this particular division is based on how the polymers are made, uh, whether they are formed in the steps uh, like the individual like the, it solely focuses on the mechanism how these polymers are produced or uh, uh, whether the polymers are produced in a chain fashion. Uh, this is uh, 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 these kind of polymers are referred to as chain growth uh, uh, polymers. So, uh, uh, the take home message is that polymers uh, can be divided uh, or classification of, of polymers can be carried out at least uh, in uh, from three perspectives. One uh, the, uh, from the material perspectives uh, in that uh, category uh, the polymers are graded based on the properties that polymer exhibit and in that category we had uh, looked into this uh, pl uh, thermoplastics, uh, duroplast. Uh, elastomers, uh, elastoplastic material and reversible duroplast. Uh, so, th on that category from that perspective it can be divided into those. For similarly, along the from the material perspective as well uh, polyethylene can be divided into uh, uh, low density polyethylene or LDP or linear low density polyethylene LLDP or high density polyethylene HDPE. Now, uh, apart from the uh, classification which we had discussed earlier uh, 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 based on the material uh, perspectives of the polymer properties, there are two other uh, forms of classification can also uh, be applied for uh, distinguishing polymers uh, and these are from uh, the, uh, the chemistry perspective particularly uh, one is based on the process by which these polymers are synthesized, the other uh, is by the mechanism by which these polymer uh, are synthesized. Uh, so, uh, from the process perspective polymers can be classified again into two types, 
uh, one is called condensation polymer, the other is called addition polymer. Uh, now condensation polymer as the name suggests uh, uh, is produced by condensation reaction between monomers which eliminate uh, uh, some small byproducts like water during the process of uh, condensation. So, that is why uh, they are called condensation polymers which, under, uh, which are formed due to condensation reactions with monomer with uh, uh, elimination of small molecule like water, alcohol and etcetera. Uh, similarly, from the process perspective, the other classification is addition polymers. Addition polymers are uh, similarly formed by simple addition uh, uh, of uh, monomers uh, uh, to give the polymer. And the second uh, classification of polymer from the chemistry perspective is that of uh, from the mechanism point of view. And from this point of view, again the polymer can be classified into two uh, types based on the mechanism uh, which they follow uh, for producing the polymer uh, uh, growth. And the mechanism uh, uh, can be of step growth polymers where uh, uh, the polymer is formed as a uh, step uh, uh, whereas uh, as several steps uh, whereas the other uh, classification from the mechanism perspective is chain growth polymer where polymer grows as a part of growing chain. So, uh, with this introduction uh, let me just focus on uh, the various uh, classification uh, from the chemistry perspective in today's lecture. And to begin with let us uh, 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 start uh, by uh, looking at the condensation polymer and the addition polymer. Uh, the, the condensation polymer. Uh, condensation polymers polymers are formed. From polyfunctional monomers by various condensation reactions with elim elimination of some small molecule example water and this is given by the reaction diamine plus diacid giving NHR, NHCO, R dust, CO, N, OH plus 2N minus 1 uh, water. So, uh, the point to note uh, in this uh, is the following. Uh, what it says that condensation uh, polymers are formed from polyfunctional monomer. So, uh, uh, there are uh, two monomers over here for example, this is A and it has two functional groups uh, with 
like this. So, this is one type of monomer A and the second monomer is B A because it is a different monomer and it also has two different functional group. So, the polymer which is made out of it is A B type, A B type polymer as a condensation uh, uh, reaction which happens and all of this condensation reaction to, to happen eliminates water. So, the small molecule elimination is very much there uh, because it is a condensation reaction. So, uh, 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 this reaction that we have uh, just shown as an example of condensation reaction is a very famous reaction uh, because this product uh, uh, is uh, was a big commercial success and it is called nylon, nylon polymer. Uh -huh. So, nylon was made uh, by condensation uh, 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 reactions where diacid a diamide and diacid react to give a B type uh, polymer. Uh, so, uh, 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 and the nylon was a big uh, commercial success uh, uh, in uh, 30s and 40s and uh, uh, had lot of applications everywhere. So, this is a nice example where uh, one can see uh, this uh, condensation uh, polymer being uh, made uh, uh, by condensation of two different uh, monomers. Uh, similarly, another uh, important uh, example of uh, condensation polymers uh, would be uh, examples. Uh, uh, we just uh, uh, saw nylon falls in this category and this was a big uh, uh, commercial uh, uh, success and this was made from diamine plus diacid uh, uh, monomers, uh, di diamine and diacid monomers condensation of these two who gave uh, nylon. Similarly, a, um, a another big example of condensation uh, polymers include uh, a variation of this and it includes diacids and diols and the product uh, 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 the products uh, are polyesters acids and iol give esters. So, this was also, uh, also a big uh, 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 success uh, 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 at the time of its uh, discovery. So, there are what uh, I mean to convey is that there are many process uh, which are uh, uh, formed uh, many important polymer uh, which are uh, formed through condensation process and uh, these polymers are, have uh, huge commercial demands. For example, uh, for the polyester the reaction is between, so this is uh, one monomer polyfunctionalized monomer H giving OH plus So, here, uh, uh, here also what we see is that uh, there are uh, two monomers, uh, one is monomer A which has hydroxy and these are polyfunctional, it has hydroxy uh, 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 moieties uh, 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 whereas, uh, 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 the second monomer uh, which is monomer B. Uh, this is monomer B and this has uh, diacid uh, uh, moieties and uh, they give AB a type of uh, uh, polymer. Uh, 
another uh, interesting uh, polymer uh, the, which will uh, again that is also uh, immensely successful commercially uh, that comes out of this condensation uh, polymer is polycarbonates. So, uh, these uh, these are some examples uh, nylon uh, then uh, polyester then polycarbonates uh, uh, they arise uh, uh, out of condensation uh, uh, reactions and all of these are important commercial uh, uh, monomers. So, uh, let me just uh, uh, briefly uh, give the process by which these polycarbonates are prepared. So, these are diol Cl N C L plus two N minus one H C L. So uh, this uh, polycarbonates over here is a reaction between uh, 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 the reaction between diol and diol uh, and uh, uh, di. Uh, di acid chloride and acid chlorides. Hmm. So, uh, this uh, is uh, uh, this is uh, can be conceived as a reaction between diol and acid chloride. Here uh, this is an important gas which is uh, phosgene. Uh, this is uh, phosgene very toxic and uh, this is monomer B with uh, uh, functional uh, groups at the end and monomer A this is monomer A with again functional group at the end and what one gets is a B uh, type of uh, uh, polymer uh, condensation polymer. So, with this uh, we come to the conclusion of today's uh, uh, lecture uh, in which we have uh, looked into various classifications of uh, polymer uh, based on material properties as well as based on, uh, uh, on the process and mechanistic perspectives. Uh, in this context uh, we have uh, discussed about condensation polymers with examples. Uh, 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 taking some commercially uh, polymers like nylon, polyesters, polycarbonates which are e extensively used for commercial purposes uh, uh, and which are formed through condensation uh, uh, process. Uh, so, with this uh, uh, we come to an end of today's uh, discussion on polymer classification. Uh, more of this polymer classification, classification particularly from uh, the chemistry process and chemi uh, chemical mechanism uh, uh, point of view would uh, continue uh, in the next class. And uh, I once again thank you for being with me uh, uh, in this uh, course uh, in this dis today's discussion and I look forward to uh, uh, discussing more on uh, this topic of polymer classification when we make next. Till then goodbye and thank you.